What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be having a look at a brand new map, as well as a brand new mode, which has now been officially confirmed and revealed in Call of Duty World War II. This is going to be a relatively quick update video where I just share a couple images with you guys so you guys can see what this map looks like, as well as give you a little bit of an indication of the mode. And we're also going to be discussing a little bit about some leaks that happened. I'm not going to be sharing those leaks here, but I just want to talk about it a little bit because Michael Condry did actually address these leaks, and I wanted to make sure I covered that. So first up, let's have a look at the new map that has been revealed. For this one, I don't know if we actually have a title on this map. Condry, when he released this, just said it was their London map. So it could be called London, or it's more likely called something else. We don't have the official title on it yet. But as you can see here, it's at the London Wharf, and it's kind of bombed out a little bit. You can see that World War II theme on it. It doesn't really give us much of an indication of the size of the map or the layout of the map at all. But just judging by the first image, it looks like it's going to be kind of that mid-range gunfight. It's not like super, super close quarters like all shotguns, but it definitely appears to be more of like an SMG map. Just based on this image and this area of the map, who knows, we might have some longer lines of sight. We're not really too sure on that. But this brings us to the second image, which as you can see, there's an underground portion for this map. I really like this. To me, it looks like there's a little bit more complexity to this map, unlike some of the other ones that we saw on the beta, like Pointy Hawk, for instance. That's just a pretty much flat plane of a map. It's pretty simple. There's not much complexity to it. There's no underground passageway or anything like that. So I'm glad to see this. It looks like we've got a bit more complexity on this particular map, and I'm excited for that. But I'm sure the first thing you noticed when you saw this image is the ball that is in the character's hands. What is he carrying? Well, this is actually the official confirmation and reveal of Gridiron. Gridiron is essentially going to be uplink for boots on the ground. What this means is you're going to have to get this ball. There's one ball that will spawn in the middle of the map, and you have to take it to the enemy's portal. Now, this portal is not going to be up in the sky like we saw with uplink on our advanced movement Call of Duty games. Instead, the portal is on the ground, which will allow you to actually run the ball through the portal, presumably for two points instead of one that you would get for throwing the ball into the portal, just like with uplink. And it's nice to see that this is finally officially confirmed. This was leaked quite some time ago. I didn't want to share those images on my channel because I don't like sharing leaked images because you can definitely get in some trouble for that one. But it is now officially confirmed that Gridiron is coming to Call of Duty World War II. And I'm excited to see how this ends up playing out compared to Uplink with Advanced Movement Call of Duties. Is it going to be as fast paced and exciting? Is it going to work for competitive? We'll just have to wait and find out. So in addition to these two images, Michael Condry also posted a statement talking about the recent leaks. For those of you guys that haven't seen, there have been some pretty massive leaks. I would suggest not checking them out, especially the zombies ones, just because they have a lot of spoilers involved. Personally, I actually stayed away from as much of it as possible while still staying relevant with the news and everything like that, so I don't want to have too much of that information spoiled. But Michael Condry did confirm that these leaks are legitimate, but at the same time he said a bunch of these things were scrapped ideas. They're not actually going to be in the full build of the game, so don't trust those leaks 100% because content does get scrapped and moved around and changed and all that kind of stuff. But he also did confirm that a lot of this is in fact accurate. So if you are interested in spoiling stuff for yourself, I'm sure you're able to find those. I'm not going to link the leaks down below. I will link the original source of these images, though, at Charlie Intel. So you guys can go check that out, as well as see Michael Condry's full statement regarding these leaks. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I'd like to know in the comments section below, what do you think about the looks of the London map so far, based on the two images that we saw? Like I said, it doesn't really give us a great indication of the actual layout of the map or the size of the map or anything. But overall, just aesthetically, what are you thinking about it so far? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.